squirrels and make me hot even in this cold weather. I'm sweaty and hot like a sultry 85 degree night when me and my wife Linda just turn the heat up even to about 85, 9 degrees and we just get hot and sweaty and then we just indulge ourselves in some fine squirrel meat. My name's Shepard Dye. I've been hunting these woods for about 15 years now. I've never seen so many squirrels. Time to decimate this population. Been hunting these woods for 35 years. Got my boys over here having a good time drinking a few beers. See this mountain up here? That's our destination. My name's uh, Johnny Cromwell. They call me Cronny, but you can also call me Cornwall. Anyways, we've been hiking out in these woods for some time now. And, uh, excuse me, just, you know, having ourselves a couple dips, a couple, uh, couple of beers, a couple of brewskis, you know, maybe seeing some Sweeney's out there. We'll be uh, definitely hunting some squirrels today. That's probably the main reason we oh, the gun went off there. Yeah, I've been drinking a little bit, but. Keep your eyes peeled. I'm a country boy. Born and raised, got a six street and a nice shirking blue. Oh yeah, that's right. Bagging on chicks and I get my job and I'm ripping it up in my Chevy Silverado. <laughs> that's a nice truck right there. All right, now what we got here is classic squirrel track. You see how it starts off one rock. He's hiding out here, probably gathering some nuts. Maybe you hid some under there. They travel across here, heading out up this rock, maybe underneath there too, but in the wood there, and we gonna find them. deep wood one. Big fatties. It's a squirrel. It's a downy one. <laughs> Pretty sure we're hunting squirrels. Not woodpeckers. Downies are a good sign of squirrel because they go where their nuts are and they go to the trees that are dying and get ready for winter. Gonna be tons of acorns right here. Gonna be tons of squirrel. That's a good squirrel. Follow that pecker. No, let's get him. Hello, I'm the narrator. Chet leads the group into the woods, hoping to find a juicy squirrel. Squatch, but we were looking for squirrel, not squatch. But clearly, out in the middle of nowhere, we came across a handprint and a identifiable as a bipedal, which I, th I know it's college talk, but it means walk on up on two legs. Bipedal man or ape of some kind with lamps. He could fall down and touch the snow just like my hand, but look how much bigger. I know my hand's wide, but this one's long. I know we ain't looking for no squatch, but I think we're gonna find them today. And I'll take a squatch instead of a squirrel oh, any oh. day. I think I just heard a squirrel. There's a squirrel right there. There's a squirrel right there. There's a red squirrel right oh, there. Red squirrel. Oh, he's so hot. He's hot. We gotta get him. Shoot, boy, shoot. Hold your nuts, boys. Hold on to your nuts. They've been known to go straight for the gooch. Straight for it. Straight for the gooch. Straight for the gooch. Like Mitch said, he's got a whole network of systems going on down there. Normally I prefer oh, eating gray squirrels, but I eat a red squirrel. Why not? A little bit of red wine, a little bit of red squirrel. Never hurt nobody. It's actually an aphrodisiac. The boys keep on searching. It takes a lot of time to find the right squirrel.
Germapel Carmwell. Uh, this is an old squirrel hunting post that we come out to every now and which way. Ain't nobody up here this year. But we're definitely hoping to secure some squirrel from a high position because we can look down on them, shoot down on them, and uh, see if we play God. We're going to get a squirrel. Mitch and the gang carefully make their way up the tower. The winds can be quite dangerous this time of year in Pittsburgh, New Hampshire. Well, we made it. We made it to McGalloway Lookout. This is our vantage point when we go hunting for squirrels. We like to come up here and use the binoculars to scope the area for grays, reds, Eurasian point tails. I don't even care. We're just want, we want some squirrel brains tonight. We're all feeling a little bit dumb. We haven't caught one yet. We need some squirrel brains to smarten ourselves up a little bit. So we're just gonna be out here looking for grays. not think I could be able to see where I'm shooting while I'm looking through these binoculars. But that's what the glasses, glasses help out with. I got some peripheral vision on my on the sides of me when I can see just right real close to where the squirrel nest is. That's why you find a vantage point like this and take full advantage of it. <coughs> oh, my. oh my my god it's a Canadian gray it's a Canadian gray squirrel get down get down man. Hurry, hurry! He's getting away! I can feel it now, boys! We're gonna be so much smarter! Go, 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 go. Just two more flats! Come on! Don't give up now! Squirrel! It's over to the left! Over to the left! Missed you see it? I can't quite see it. I think he's hiding. I think he might down down outsmarted us. Oh, we'll be back. <laughs> One behind the wall. You see it? <laughs> Boss, we gotta get down. Come on, we don't have time for Leave this. Leave me. No, come on. We gotta go. Jebediah, Mitch, and Chet are on the lookout for some squares at the bottom of the hill. Come on. Hurry, boys, hurry. Don't let them get away. I got left. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh, Jesus wait. Christ. I feel like we gotta work on this. Cause it's not working out. <laughs> we gotta fix our communication. Listen. We're not... I didn't want to come to this, but I did pack some squirrel urine. Oh boy. Just gonna lay that out. You said yeah. you weren't gonna bring that shit. Yeah man, that's like cheating. Just lay it out. Man, I mean, it ain't the same way that how's I'm cheating on Linda, but this I mean, is a beautiful woman. I told you, I'd take her if you didn't want her. Hey, you fucked her first and that's my fault. Hey, what I'm sorry. Hey, I'm going. sorry. Hey, I'm going to hurt you. Oh, hey, 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 break it up, break it up. Hey, that's hey. cool. That's all cool. Right, all right. We're friends here. We're that's squirrel cool hunters. Now. We're yeah. squirrel hunters. Now leave, right. leave Linda out of this. I'm sorry, but you brought her up and you disrespect and uh, you know, I won't even now, go there. I ain't going to cheat on her We're squirrel hunting now. Let's just squirrel hunt. All right, let's focus on the squirrel. I know I was chasing some. Well, look at that pretty little angel. Well, would you be damned? Would I'll be damned, be actually. Damned. Look at them legs on that one. Oh, some god oh, ass and Oh, we'll have this ourselves a nice this squirrel au vin. Ooh. Just like the French. Some some squirrel stew. Mm. It really sounded nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's get close up here. I call the squirrel brains. I call the squirrel brains! Hey, hey, we are all going to get smarter off a lot of them squirrel brains, but we need about 12 of them first. Okay, and okay. That ain't gonna happen right. until we focus on taking down this Canadian Yo, Mitch, gray. I'm sorry about your wife. Hey. You're a really hey. smart guy, and without you here, I wouldn't be as uh, hey. 
smarter as I as I aim. Now leave Linda out of this, cause I know I was. I'm just saying I apologize for I bringing know, her into it. I know, know I was chasing some other tail, but now the only tail that I want to chase, is some squirrel tail. I uh, second that, brother. I'm right with rabbit, that, right yeah, there. Wrap it around my neck. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Woo. Shoot you, girl. Oh, shit. Quiet! Squirrel on loose. Yeah, this squirrel here. Mitch, come up on point. Got ourselves a good one, boys. That's some good meat right there. Hey, did you die? You got the keys to the truck? Hey, man, what's going on here? I thought you had it, man. Come on now, man. Somebody's got to have the keys. It seems the boys this forgot the keys That's to my, the I'm truck. That's my gun. Well, why don't we just take this car that's running over Looks here? like they'll be walking well, from here. That looks like a piece of shit. I don't know what type of idiot. Bring some fancy ass Lexus out in the middle of these woods here. I know. I mean, we try to hunt squirrel. You can't fit no squirrel in the back of that. Look at this. Now look at this. Look at the size of my bed. I can fit. I can fit up to 30 squirrel in there comfortably. You do got a beautiful truck. It's got some nice tires on there too. Too bad the old bed didn't fill squirrels though. We can always come. Have Leroy come down and, uh, you know, give the old squirrel getter a tow. Hey, man, I just smashed this window here. I mean, the truck was already running. I mean, At no I surprise, truck, but, Mitch I mean, decides to steal the vehicle parked beside his. Uh, you know, we're just going to come Not very truck smart truck if you ask me, the narrator. All right, let's get in this. Let's just get in this car because, I mean, I can't I can't get another strike on my record. Get my pilot night assistant there. I mean, growing up here the in the boys share stories about squirrel hunting, hunting incidents on the way back to the cabin. Deer, deers are, deers Boy, are Mitch has a lot to talk about venison. these days. I actually prefer the taste of squirrels venison. Ended up pooping all down the side of our house. <laughs> now, if that ain't squirrel range, now I don't know what it is. I mean, they spy for animals. They spy for mm -hmm. I mean, Unless you're gonna kill the whole family of it, you're gonna have his sibling, you're gonna have his brother, you're gonna have his, you're gonna have his cousin coming in. I mean, even, I mean, possibly even his father-in-law if he's crazy enough. He's gonna home. come in, make a, make a nest in your gutter. Yeah. They're gonna clog it up. You're gonna have to get up there. You're gonna have to deal with squirrel bite. And they want that. They yeah. want that because I'm seeking revenge. Yeah. And they're spiteful creatures. That's it. Squirrel meat, uh, you know, what you do with the skulls, you hang them up. I mean, they make nice ornaments. I mean, you can do a whole lot with a squirrel carcass. I mean, you could boil it in a stew, fry it up, dip it in grease. I mean, now you see, now you see out, now look out there, see how the track's worn down. Now, this is one of the most popular hey, roads going up here on in up there. And the reason for that is the squirrel population is immense around these parts. And you can see, ever since we've been out hunting, you can see how many cars come down here. I mean, look, there's some pavement right there. Or maybe dirt, whatever it may be. But at least I can grip on it. A lot of good squirrel out I mean, since, since we stole this car, I mean, I was worried about getting back with it, but I mean, it's doing better than I thought. Hey, hey look, there's a Porsche. Well, there's see? Most popular there's road. There you go. Most popular works. Most, most popular road there is. I mean, look. It ain't a Porsche, but it's a Jeep. A nice Jeep. And we appreciate it. We appreciate the popularity of this area, and that's primarily because of squirrels. And that's something, that's a varmint you can't replace. Good squirrel in these woods. That's at least what I read in a magazine. Why you think Why you think Linda came back to me, man? Just full, balls full of semen. I also heard yeah. you, find a, you find a woman squirrel when she's just past giving birth and you drink her milk from her little tiny yeah. little squirrel teeth. Yeah. Yeah. That gives you longevity in the bedroom. Oh, it does. It sure does. What's I mean, on, what's on long, long key? Makes your dome longer. Get your ass hey, because you can't get it up anymore. Here. Listen here. I mean, it, you can drink that squirrel milk. You can drink that and you don't need no Viagra. Like I said, it's the biggest aphrodisiac there has been since oysters. She yeah. Yeah, hey, hey, quit playing with my hair, man. Come on now. I just worked on it.
love I'd rather be right now than with my truck. Got my six string and a pack of beer. Just could use my girl. It's a cold night. Crack the heat in my Silverado. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My girl's tits stretch from here. Seas of Nicaragua. Yeah, she's got a fine ass. Six pack, six string. Gonna go all night. Yeah, oh yeah. Feel right on half ton. We're the six foot boy. Got a friend in me Baby Jesus When the boys arrive to the cabin, they decide to eat up them squirrel brains and then play a nice friendly game of cards. Them moose permits are hard to come by these times because you gotta wait in the line and then you can't hop into the front of the line unless you got money. But the trick is no one comes out here and got any money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Turn cards. Oh, Jesus. Alright. Here we Here's, go. Here's a cheese to your face. Here we go, boys. Right. Have a good time mm. there. Hopefully no squirrels come around. Hey, uh, Mitch, uh, how's your wife Linda doing? Hey, now. We haven't even started yeah. drinking now. We haven't even started drinking yet, buddy. You just wait till they drink. Here it comes. I haven't played in a long time. It's been a long time. Been a long you time. And a lot of departments, I imagine, there, Mitch. Hey, now. Well, well, hey, now. With what happened with Linda, yeah. You want to get back on that subject there, oh, Mitch? And now we observe the effects that squirrel brains have on human beings. Boat game here. I think we're going to have to run down to the the uh, 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 the gas station and get this guy some tampons. Oh, yeah. I was just thinking hey, the same thing. Hey, I'm glad thing. I brought some condoms there, brother. And Linda oh, ain't going to find out. Oh, oh, Linda. Let's talk about Linda. And that's when I told her to take her horse back home. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fuck oh, you, man. man. You're the one with the badge. Yeah, well, it's the sweetest badge you've ever seen or tasted. You tasted his badge? Nah. I seen it. A couple, <laughs> couple of squirrel steaks with some French onion on top of it. A couple of caramelized onions. It's too bad he really got mauled by them squirrels. So that's when I turned to my wife and I said, Deciduous forest. It's more like boreal forest. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you may be kidding me. Oh, the crowd started laughing. <laughs> they must have heard me. They probably did. I think your wife's nipples are beautiful. Hey, how, well, hang on now. What are you talking about, man? Come on, Cancun, bud. She is a modest looking woman. I mean, she's not, she ain't the best, prettiest thing to look at, but boy, when those legs go up, man, there's a lot of room to work with. I mean, I like to throw hot dogs down in hallways, if you know what I'm saying. I said, hey, amen, thank you, God, for this the squirrel and beer. The and bounty the of squirrels that we are about to receive. Beer. Now, where do you think they get them bananas from? They get them from Mexico, or are they hidden? Are they the other locally grown bananas? You had a Snickers bar in your Speedo. That was gonna make her satisfied, you and know? we know you did it too, because yeah. I found a six-inch pubic hair on Linda's swimsuit. Hey, what are you doing with that? Linda's swimsuit? Are you sniffing it again? Oh. Are you sniffing on the pants again? Man. Hey, man, this is why no you one need was a girl. around. No one was around. <laughs> how does it? How does your? How your life going on? How are you continuing your life? Like this. Well, awesome. what kind of question is that? You just gonna ask a man who got his penis blown off by a squirrel hunt accident? If his life is okay after that? Hey, man. I'm just saying, how are you least... coping? Do you need some friendship guidance? No, squirrel hunting. Only thing keeps me going. All right. Hey, it wasn't his fault that the squirrel got a hold of a shotgun and blew his dick off. It wasn't his fault. He killed the squirrel's you, brother. You, it was... It's just you helping your buddy out by giving him your butt. Yeah. Like, think about it. Your, your penis might look like a pumpkin, but he ain't got a penis. That's all right. Sometimes when I'm feeling really down about it, I just go out in the woods and I pick off squirrels and I just shoot their balls right yeah. off. Yeah, tell you, man, 
Let me tell you, buddy. Uh, now these see. squirrels that you knock their balls off, do you ever say to them, hey, welcome to my world? <laughs> That's called the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, hold on, let me fix my hair. Alright. Hey. Alright. <laughs> it's not rocket too. Did you see something come out? No, but it was good noise. <laughs> Tell you. Smoke was just terrible for you. Right, Mitch? <laughs> yeah, yeah to I mean, I, to I totally agree with you. <laughs> Quiet! Squirrel on loose. Squirrels. But we'll find one. We'll find one eventually. Try to find that squirrel. We're just gonna keep working, you know? Keep hiking. Working to find that squirrel. I can let's get him. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I ain't got myself a youth face page. Hey! Friendly neighbors, friendly neighbors. Oh, hey, look, they got direct TV. Uh oh, look at that. Look at that. that. Look at them direct TV. Jeez, must you be nice. You think they like squirrel? Must be nice. I, I don't know, know, man. I bet they got that damn there uh, shutdown package. They fancy, man. They fancy with that dish. Yeah. Satellite dish. Are oh, we coming up on a bridge here? Hey now, now what's, what, what do we got here? Oh, look at this, look at this. Ah, oh, these are squirrel tracks, oh, look at them. Yeah, they lead all along here. Oh, you probably went inside there. I told you, they're coming after us. We didn't kill them all. We didn't kill them all, and now they're coming after us. It's our own damn fault. It's like one goddamn red squirrel, now he's back. You need to relax though. He's back, and they're coming after us. It ain't fair. I need that squirrel pelt. Scream, scream. Why? Looks like we gotta go, uh... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. North. North is that way. I guess I wrote your name down somewhere. Cuba Dye. Cuba Dye. Cuba Dye! Uh, your hair's looking good. Can you 
we've been uh, using a new uh, shampoo. I actually I started using coconut oil. Really? It's on that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <coughs> y'all are using that two in one stuff where it conditions it at the same time it cleans it? Nah, man. Hell, you gotta try hey, this coconut hey, oil. Hey, it's fine. It works just nice in my feel, hair. Feel his hair. <laughs> Coconut oil. Oh, Mind if I cop a feel? Yeah. Coconut oil. Yeah. Oh, I can feel it. It's really greasy. Oh, it's yeah. really, really nice. Mmm, <laughs> smells good. What, what was that actually? <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> really, really <laughs> nice. <laughs> Quiet! <laughs> Quiet! Quiet! Yeah, this squirrel here. I used to do that with Don't Linda all the time. Sauce. You don't get wing sauce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now. Hey, now. <laughs> Drop too many Linda comments over there. I don't appreciate it. Oh, the crowd started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> they probably did. <laughs> hey, Mitch, that reminds oh. me of that story you had about you and Linda on Cancun break. Are you kidding me? That's no great. That reminds me of a story, though, no Mitch. Shit. You were talking about uh, with your your wife, Linda. You were mentioning a story. Uh. <laughs> You're talking about Linda too much. <laughs> hey, she likes, she likes to make sure everything's working down there and clean. I'm sure your you fucking bowel hear? movements are always working. You I, eat so I, much I goddamn spray, fish. I spray them. <laughs> I, I spray them. Fellas, fellas, last time I was down at that Squirrel Hunter Anonymous meeting down at Cobra, yeah. I met this feller. He said that he saw a squirrel 10 feet tall with huge, Imagine humongous Bollocks. claws hey, and right. testicles the size testicles. of apples. Big apples. And he said this thing, it looked like no no gray, no red, nothing he had ever seen before. He, he said he saw that with his dog and his dog was dead. So I think it ate his dog. Well, squirrel, I ain't. It's just you helping your buddy out by giving him your butt. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you guys got nice butts. Yeah, I took the blue pill. You guys are off too much. Let me finish, uh, all right? Hey, Let you me... can't tug on it too much, honey. You can't tug on it too you much. You know what they call it a vice grip? It strangles your little man. My bro, that dumb bit some dog in the face. I've seen, I, no, I had seen oh, some. Oh, I've seen it. i seen him bit in the face, but he ain't going after nothing but nuts. No, he doesn't want to eat nothing but nuts. No, no. Nothing maybe, but nuts. Maybe dog nuts. Maybe. They really put their lives on the line for them nuts. Hey, hey, they if, say... If those nuts were ladies, I would understand, but they're nuts. The, they're those, nuts. Those Cheeky dogs bastards. fuck around with them, those squirrels, and they... I told you, they're vengeful. They're vengeful creatures.